we are super glad to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Lisa Daly. This is my channel, and we are here to write today. Um, as folks are, because I did not post this until like two seconds before we are going to go live. Um, it'll probably take a minute for people to get notified and start filtering in. And we have a very special live stream today because normally we are here for two hours writing like the wind. But today we only have an hour. And our topic of the day is what do you do when you have less time to write? which I think is going to be a fun topic because everybody has been, feels like, I don't know if it's like the full moon or what, but um, everybody, it seems like everybody. Oh, right. I, that was actually my launch day. And I love the fact that it was like Tuesday. So 2-22-22 Tuesday, right? Yep. And I feel like it was like a magical day. So it was a magical day. It was. Let's go quickly since we have an abbreviated time. Let's go ahead and go around quickly and do our intros really fast. And then um, we will get to our warm up spread. I'm going to start with you, Michelle. Okay. Hi, I'm Michelle Schusterman. And I am a young adult and middle grade author. My YouTube channel is writing workshops, traditional publishing chat, and writing vlogs. And today I am 42 years old. Yay! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Woohoo! That's awesome. Very, very nice. Happy birthday. Thanks. Hello, Carol. We are glad you are here. Um, happy birthday. That's phenomenal. I'm so excited you're here today. Uh, Let's go. We'll come back around. Okay, Story Detective, give us your uh, give us your intro today. My name is Robert Jones, and my channel is the Story Detective, where we take all forms of storytelling, put it under a Sherlockian microscope, break down the craft, and give it to the viewer to make their craft journey easier. And uh, still working on scripts for those videos that were supposed to be coming out this month. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can all relate, I think. Sako yeah. Tumi, uh, thanks so much for being here today. Robert, Sako, give us your uh, your intro, please. Howdy, neighbors. I'm Sako Tumi, also known as Cass Voigt. I write horror, and I'm a witch, and I'm a graphic designer, and sometimes I combine those three things. If you are interested in videos that pertain to marketing for authors, I have a whole playlist of them on my channel, Sako Tumi Cas Voigt. And it's not just me talking, it's a bunch of other authors, awesome, awesome tubas, uh, who have something to say on the topic. So you should drop by sometime. I would love to see you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Caro Brown is here today. Caro, tell us a little about you. Hi, my name is Caro Brown. I'm a hot mess this morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, I wrote those books <laughs> on the wall over there, and I came here to work on a co-writing project for a friend. And happy birthday, Michelle. We need like a fireworks or, you know, <laughs> birthday streamers. Thank you so much for being here, Caro. Doll Cecil Bruno is here. Doll, Hi. tell us a little about you and your channel. Hello there, humans. I am Dal Cecil Bruno. I'm a blind storyteller for introspective readers, and my channel is uh, having a bad month this month, but I'm back with editing a video today. That's what I will be working on, and it's a strange combination of wildlife meets writing, and I make a lot of animal metaphors and stuff as I talk about writing craft and social media for authors. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, so my name is Lisa Daly. I write uh, rom-coms and um, advice books, nonfiction advice books. And today I am going to be working on some marketing stuff for my launch of 15 Minutes of Shame, which I should have done six months ago. Oh, um, happy, birth, happy book day, by the way. Happy I know birthday. that was yesterday, but... Thank you so much. Well, I will say, so our topic today, because we're, we, so we're going to end today at uh, 12 Eastern, or just before 12 Eastern, because unfortunately I have a meeting I need to go to. However, our topic of the day is how to write and be productive when you have less time than you want to. So let's go ahead and do our five minute warm up sprint and we're gonna come back, say hi to everybody in the chat. And then we are going to um, talk, about a, talk about our topic and we're gonna, get, we're gonna get some sprints done today. So, all right, everybody, who is ready to do our five minute warm up? 
everybody. <laughs> okay, <laughs> without further ado, let's get our coffee, get our documents open. Tell us what you're working on in the chat uh, so we can be cheering you on. And we're going to get started with our five minute sprint in three, two, one.
It would be so helpful if I turned on my microphone, huh? Okay, so so we are back. Our question of the day is, what do you do? What's your best tip when you have more projects than time? Let's go ahead and say hi to everybody in the chat. And then I want to go around the circle and everybody talk about what you're working on today and your, give your best tip for super productive writing. All right, here we go. JC is here. She was here for us today. Hello, JC. We are very, very glad to see you. Barrett's here. Hello, Barrett. Barrett and I did an interview on Monday, his very first episode of his brand new talk show, Barrett Lori Live. Uh, it was live on Monday. It was awesome. We had such a great time. And uh, you guys should definitely check that out. I would say there's a link in the description but there is not yet. I will have to do that after the stream. I had such a hurry up offense this morning. There's like literally nothing in the description. I think it says something like we're writing or something like that. Mm -hmm. We really, I uh, really appreciate it. Love a little back and forth. Mary Wimbley is here. We are super happy to see you. Hi, Mary. Ray is here. Hello. So glad to see you. Claude, I'm very happy to see you today. Mid Ghost is here. They're happy to write. Good luck, everyone, with that, whatever you're working on. You guys, let us know in the chat what you are working on. Oh, Barrett, thank you so much. Barrett dropped a link. He's like uh, the king of all wrenches, I'm pretty sure, because he's like <laughs> he is the king of all wrenches. managing the chat. He's dropping links. He's awesome. Thank you very much, Barrett. Uh, hello, cool gamer. Very glad to see you today. JC, thank you so much for saying that. I think she said that before. Michelle. She's like, Carol and Michelle, or Carol and Doll. <laughs> No, it wasn't that. She said that really early. And as always, I'm super far behind in the chat. But we have lots and lots of people wishing Michelle happy birthday today. There's a big hello to Caro and Doll. Very, very nice. Sophia's here today. Hi, Sophia. We're very glad that you made it today. Squinton Wolf is here. Happy birthday to Michelle. Very, very nice. All right, here's our question for today. What's your best tip for writing when you have more project than time? So I'm going to pop up some more. Oh, Michaela's here too. Hi, Michaela. Very glad. Mama Ward is here. Very glad to see you. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Let's go around this circle. I'm going to start with you, doll. What are you working on today? And what is your best tip when you have more project than time? All right. Um, so today I'm working on my video that I'm trying to release this week. Uh, it's a longer video, so I'm already editing like the visuals with the audio. That's what I'm up to. And coffee is brewing because I need it. Um, so what do I do when I don't have enough time for all my projects? Well, I'm going through that right now. <laughs> and... <laughs> And what I do is um, I try to adjust my planner and try very hard not to worry about the thing that didn't get done today. I know that I have to do it and I will have reminders to work on it as I progress with the most important thing at a time. For example, this week, I don't have a deadline for any writing, not even self-imposed. But I do want to publish that video. So this week, the main priority is the video. Then I'm going to focus on that. As soon as that video is out in the world, the next week, my focus is going to be strictly on finishing a short story, even, even if there's not a deadline, because I want to focus on my writing as well. Great. So, yeah, that's my tip. Just prioritize the most important thing for the time the present moment and leave that the rest for whenever you have more time when that priority is done. Excellent. Excellent tip. How about you, Carol? What's your, what are you working on today? And what's your best tip for working when you have more project than time? Um, so I'm working on a co-writing project with another writer who works for dark horse. Um, and my tip is um, typically if you don't have a lot of time and you have more projects, like do a self-assessment and figure out what you're more motivated to do right now. Because if you try to do something that you're obligated to do versus what you want to do, you're not really going to get a lot done. So just go ahead and chase the passion project, get that knocked out, and then move on to the other stuff. 
Excellent. How about you, Michelle? What are you working on today? And what is your um, advice for that? Um, this is a really relevant topic for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I am working on a client outline today. And I am, yeah, I'm under kind of a a big crunch with deadlines right now. And it's, it's kind of weighing on me. Um, and so my problem is like not having time to write. It's, it's more not having time to breathe because I have so much to write, uh -huh. but I, I understand the spirit of this question. And I've definitely been in situations in the past like this where, yeah, I think for me, my biggest issue was always that, um, I, it was like, if I don't have hours to sit down and do this, I might as well not do this. At right. All. And that is just not true. You would be amazed at what you can actually do in five minutes, literally, if you have five minutes. And there's this one thing I think, like Kara said, especially something that's like really burning a hole in your brain. It's like the thing you want to do. Then just sit down for five minutes and write that. And even if that's all that yeah. you have time to do, it is going to spark a little bit more motivation for you and make you feel accomplished like you did something and then the next time you have a little five minute pocket or a 10 minute pocket or a half an hour pocket you'll be able to do a little bit more that is such great advice and i will say i know an author who literally wrote like half of her books in the carpool pickup line like you know i have to like wait and sit you're in there waiting for your kid to come out of school five ten fifteen twenty minutes at a time every day that was her only free time so i love that advice that's fantastic Story detective, what are you working on and what's your best tip? I am actually restructuring my scenes and outline for my novel. And the second half is just where I pantsed and gave myself a, a tight deadline to try to get things done. And I have to say the writing is, it just blows. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that happens. <laughs> so cleaning all that up and, you know. Uh, and it has been a month of not having time to write. I would say when I don't have as much time, sometimes I get more done because I'm more productive in those short bursts of time, as Michelle said. And I say, write notes, dictate when you can't write notes and have things together that when you sit down, you actually can uh -huh. have that time with everything you have going on. Because if you just sit down for like, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you're, you're just going to waste it because by the time you set things up and make your notes, you're done. Your time is over. Right. <laughs> All right. I think that's excellent advice. Sako, what is, what are you working on today and what's your best advice? I am working on uh, setting up KDP for Blambeau since I've attained full rights and I'm re-releasing it with a new cover and all of that cool stuff. So that is what I'm working on today. And regarding uh, what to do when you've only got like five minutes to work on that, to write or do the thing, I reprioritize. Mm -hmm. I take those five minutes. Or I also do what um, Carol was talking about, but um, t take the thing that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Um, for those five minutes and then once you knock that out you can ride the rest of that wave into the other stuff that you have to do yeah. that is uh also good advice so for me so today i as i mentioned i'm working on some marketing stuff that i should have done quite a while ago i have the same uh, project problem that michelle does right now in that i have too many projects for the amount of time that I had, but they were all so good. I didn't want to turn anything down, which, right. Okay. <laughs> I feel you, baby. <laughs> so, uh, so what I do when I'm in that situation, I mean, there are lots and lots of long days, but one of the things that I've realized is that right now I am most productive in the mornings. And so the project that needs the most love, the one where I have to make the most progress, which is often my own stuff, not client stuff is, the one that I do that at that time of the day that is the most productive because then you feel like, okay, I've got all these things to do and I can only give this an hour or 15 minutes or whatever it is, but I'm going to give my best hour of the day to that project. And I think it really helps. And I have to say, you guys, I wrote 4,000 words this morning. Oh, nice. 
I know, right? I feel like, like, is there a fire coming off my fingers? Because, yeah, that was unusual, but really shocking. All right. So I want to say hi to, I want to hear what we've got from, oh, Morgan's here. Let's see. Deborah's here. Hi, Deborah. Welcome. Do not do not feel intimidated. We are all super, super friendly here. We are super glad to see you. I'm very glad you made it today. And we're all friends. We're just here to support you. So jump right in. I'm glad you're speaking up. I'm glad to have you in the conversation. So we are really, really glad to see you. Margaret's here. Uh, let's see. TL Rest Lifestyle helped me that boost of motivation yesterday. Can you still, I'm, can you tell I'm still anguishing over my word, Barrett Lori? So <laughs> Barrett had a, um, on his show, he asked you to pick your word of the year. And I was like super delightful. Oh, JC, thank you so much for posting that. That's awesome. Thank you very much. All right. MM Ward working on Spartan, Chimera, Chimera but also, I can never remember which one's right, but also driving into the city and sitting in line for an hour because Whataburger is finally opening in Colorado. <laughs> well, that is a uh, time. Oh, very, very, very nice. Oh, Barrett uh, is giving a big warm welcome to Deborah. You are definitely among friends. We are very glad to see you. You're back. We're super glad to see you. Exotic Expression Dance Fitness. We're all everybody. We're all looking forward to spreading with you too. Morgan is working on YouTube video today. Her tip is to eliminate or post postpone projects that you can and work on the things that, that are most important. Very good tip. Best tip from MM Ward, delegate time by project priority. However, sometimes the creative flow. Yup. I have that happen all the time. Look, Oscar's here. Hi, Oscar. We're very glad to see you today. All right. Really glad this topic came up. I have multiple projects going on. Mo mostly focused my main one. It's nice to have other things to turn to when not in the mood for the main event. Totally, totally agree. Yes, true. I've written at the bus stop. All right. Very good. So speaking of goals, our goal is to get some writing done today. So let's go ahead and do our first sprint. I First long to, sprint of the day. I uh, relate to that post. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carol, I'm going to have you do our first um, pep talk. Do you mind? I don't mind. That's fine. Excellent. All right. So if you wouldn't mind taking us into our very first pep talk while I get the video up, that would be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So it's that time, my friend, when you get to sit here and listen to me say, listen, bitches, there's stuff that needs to get done. And there's no excuses at this point. You will do one thing, one thing in the next 20 minutes. I don't care if that's picking your nose, but you're going to do it. And you're going to do it like nobody else can. Do you understand me? Good. Do you have the time rope yet? No. Okay. <laughs> there it is. And with picking your nose. All right, go ahead. I uh, so we'll do the very best thing that we can do for uh, 20 minutes and I uh, will check back in with you and encourage you if whatever it is that you feel like doing and progressing further in and channeling your inner self. Can you please hit the start button? <laughs> <laughs> and just remember, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> remember that stupid saying? <laughs>
All right, we are back. I'm not sure who I like turned off. Okay, here we go. All right, fantastic. Uh, there was a great uh, PTA conversation happening, so I was very excited about that. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the tips. We literally have 15 minutes left, so we can either go through quick tips and everybody say their goodbyes, or we can go through the quick tips super quick and do like a 10 minute sprint. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, let's go through the tips and we'll see how much time they take because I don't know how many comments we have and then um, we'll see where we are. Okay. Uh, spend one day or an hour with the most exciting or most distracting project and then head home to the family to the family projects that need attention. Yes, yeah. good advice. Uh, very good. Oh, yeah. Dictation is a super speedy thing. That was how I got my 4k today. Nice. Uh, yeah, I love that. Um, I think dictation is great, but like if you have an American or British accent and if it's mixed. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's challenging. I mean, mine is still, there are still some things I still have to go through and clean it up, but I, <laughs> right. But I do appreciate it. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, so exotic expression dance fitness says, yes, you're correct. I honestly don't know what I would do without dictation. Yes, totally true. When brain the, dumping, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's really good. It is funny some of the stuff it comes up with, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, my tip would be to prepare as much as possible tonight, the night before, have your writing area set up. Try not to go to bed with dishes or laundry to do. I'll make sure my stuff for the shower is ready. That is so smart. So that's the thing is I try to do stuff that doesn't require very much brain power by the end of the day, like dishes. Um, and then... And also it's nice to like wake up to a clean kitchen. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Margaret says, yes, master uh, drill sergeant. Care Pick that nose. Pick it. <laughs> That's right. There it is. I was going to write this in the chat. Thank you, Margaret. You can pick your nose. You can pick your friends. And you can't pick your friend's nose. Robert. <laughs> Robert. Uh, we know what you meant. We know what you meant. Okay. So Mary says, so ironic we're talking about this because I've been getting interrupted every five minutes since I got on here. I'm still trying to get my work pace conducive to writing and it's been a struggle. Mm. I totally get that. You know what, Mary? I feel like it might be helpful for you. I had a friend who did this. She had the same thing. Like she really needed like a blank space. Like sweep everything on her desk into this big bin so that she could just work with like a completely cleaned off space. I need my little nest around me. But she did that. It worked for her. It might work for you. All right. Margaret got 207, pausing to work on organizing and a consistency detail must be rooted out. They're the worst. Hi, Michael. So glad to see you. Very nice to see you. Oh, CB is here too. Hello, CB394. Very, very nice. All right. Mary says it was a bust for me, but I'm going to watch the replay and catch what I missed between sprints. Well, I think there's just going to be the one because it's now. All right. Here we go. Margaret. Sorry. Uh, yes. I'm so sorry today. I could just yeah. play the 20 minute and take off, but I have to go to a meeting and I'm very sorry. It was the oh, I was like the only holdout and then I started to feel really guilty. <laughs> Uh, Barrett got 467 words done. Mm -hmm. Woo, very, very nice. CB got 29. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. All right. CB went bowling, put on some laundry. I'm moving temporarily. So many boxes. Oh my gosh. That oh my gosh. Hard to focus. Mm -hmm. That makes it super hard to focus. All right. Does anybody have, this is like the shortest stream <laughs> we've ever done. My hopes of doing a 10 minute sprint. No. Back. Dashed. No way we're going to do that. Oh, Michaela got 524. Nice work, Michaela. And Barrett pipes in, moving is the worst. Moving is the worst. It definitely has its moments. Yeah. Yes. I have very strong thoughts about moving. <laughs> you do. And I thought, I mean, I'd have some, I moved like seven times in nine years. And I thought I had some bad moving experiences, but I and then, mine are, we, and then we met Carol. <laughs> That's and right. That was oh, and, and it gets better because that company went bankrupt. <gasps> <Yeah>. <gasps> so all that trouble, nothing. Oh, that's the worst. That's yep. the worst. Oh my God, Carol. <laughs> CB says, especially having to move and then move back in two to six months. Yeah, that's 
yeah, that's pretty terrible. That All right. almost happened to me in Hungary, and I declined and said, no way, I'm going back to that place. You kicked me out like a freaking stray dog. I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm not going back. That's, that is probably a really good decision. All right, so Mary likes this idea of having a dump bin to clear a space for working, right? Just if you need, some people just need like no clutter and no distractions. And, and every time, um, I think every time I like I talk to you, Mary, I always feel like you're always trying to find like a good solution for that. And so maybe that will work. I hope it will. All right, Michaela, very nice. All right, everybody. So, <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to cover that was so fast. Oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> Next week, I promise that we will That's have our, our full two hour. I know I was on vacation last week, and this week I can't stay. All right, so um, look who's here. Hello, Hi. darling. Uh, she totally does the dump bin. I literally have a medium small tote that I keep empty just for getting stuff out of my way. Sometimes you need a clear space. I can't write if my, like if my, not write, but like I definitely have like my snacks all around, but I really don't like things to be too cluttery when I'm writing. So, all right. Very, very nice. All right. Let's go ahead and say goodbye because it's 11.51. <laughs> Next week, we'll be here for the full two hours. I'm sorry. It's a short day, but I feel like we did get some really great tips and we got a lot done and we stayed on theme and I always like to do that. Nice. All right. Uh, I am going to go to you, Story Detective. I'm going to start with you to say our goodbyes and I'll kind of go around the circle or maybe zigzag. Well, I hope everyone ends up getting February finished on a good note. I am certainly trying here. It's been a bit of a trying month. <laughs> yeah. But um, the videos will hopefully start coming soon. I'm finishing scripts, but I need to get this novel fixed first because that needs to take priority. And uh, But my channel is The Story Detective, and we take everything story-oriented, put it under a Sherlockian microscope, and break down the craft to make your craft journey easier and sometimes you just can't get around the hard stuff, though. <laughs> that is the truth. Look who's here, everybody. Hi. We're so glad you're here and we miss you. Thank you so much. You came just in time because we are just about to say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Robert. Michelle. Hi, I'm Michelle Schusterman. I'm a middle grade and young adult author. And my channel is Writing Workshops, Traditional Publishing Chats, and Writing Blogs. Thanks very much, Lisa. Thank you so much for being here. Caro. Hi, my name's Caro Brown. <laughs> I came here and I wrote, I, I wrote things. Um, it went pretty good. Uh, I wrote those things on the wall. If you want to support me, you can buy those. And Except this one, don't buy that one. And you gave a really great pep talk, let's not forget. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Who knows his name? It. Pick them. Famous. It's going to be famous. The pick your nose peck talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's me anyway. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for being here as always. Sako. Howdy, neighbors. I'm Sako Toomey. Uh, the ebook version of Flambeau is now up and running. I'm working on the paperback and the hardback uh, for the uh, for another set of sprints that I've got lined up for today. Um, right after this, in fact. Wow. Um, I am Sako Toomey. I am a witch. I am a graphic designer, and I write horror. Yeah, I do those things. So oh, if you are interested in videos that pertain to marketing for authors, I have a whole playlist of them on my channel, Sako Toomey Cast Foyt. And it's not just me talking. It's got people like like that one and uh barrett laurie and a bunch of other awesome author tubers that have something to say on the topic so you should drop by sometime i would love to see you thank you so much uh doll let's uh thank you so much for being here today i know it feels right. like you just said your intro let's do your outro <laughs> Hello and thank you for having me today. I'm Del Cecil Bruno, a blind storyteller for introspective readers. Today I did my whole introduction of the video, which I'm very proud. I did that in 20 minutes. Right. Um, so my channel is this a strange combination of wildlife meets writing, and only I could pull that off, apparently. 
true. Um, so videos are coming back at the end of this week and maybe bonus maybe bonus videos for March. So wait more about animal symbolism combined with writing craft, writing thoughts, and social media for writers. It would be nice to see you if you subscribe. Thank you. Thanks so much. I, as I said, I did not, there's like no description below, but I will rectify that uh, later this afternoon. I think most of you are already subscribed to the awesome folks on this channel, but please do subscribe uh, to them if you are not already. I'm yeah. Lisa Daly. Thank you so much for being here. We will be here next Wednesday at our regular time, 11 a.m. Eastern time for two hours, our regular yeah. two hours worth of sprinting and publishing chat. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.